this box contains a complete gaming setup. And when I say complete, I mean it. There's a PC, a monitor, keyboard, mouse, speakers. This box literally has it all. And looking at what seems to be bullet holes, I really hope the PC is fine on the inside. Now, to be honest, the overall box seems fine. We do have some damage here and here. And of course, all the bullet holes. And then here as well. So overall, it might not be fine. But I've seen some examples of these kinds of boxes arriving at people's homes. Complete PC kits also completely destroyed. I cannot wait to see what's on the inside of this box. I mean, this whole kit costs $217. So for that price, I'm not even sure if we're gonna get Windows installed on the PC. However, that probably wouldn't be that bad of a thing because we got the sponsor of this video completely covering us. If you're like me, then you can't stand the Windows activation watermark. Always there in the corner like an awkward third wheel on a perfect date. But there is great news because yourcdkey.com offers genuine keys for Windows 10 and 11 Pro. Windows 10 Pro keys are 17 bucks and Windows 11 Pro keys are 22. So if you're building a new PC or you have this watermark right now and you want to get rid of it, then go to VIPYourCDKey.com and use code TVN for 25% off. You can even get Microsoft Office 2016 for only 28 bucks. Whatever you need, check the link in my description and use code TVN for 25% off. I am not sure what to expect from this monitor. Online people said it's 720p. The size is gonna be 22 inch. That's fine. Now you have to see the inside of this box. Keyboard box actually looks pretty good. I mean, it has even branding on the outside. It says a lot about my expectations that I'm happy it has branding. <laughs> but what doesn't give me much confidence is that the PC is pretty much the size of a 4090. Well, that might be exaggerated. But still, what do we have here? Okay, these are the speakers. RGB gaming speakers or what they call active desktop speakers 2.0. The product page definitely looked more enticing than the real product. All right, next, we did get a mouse pad. I thought I was gonna be without one. Was this on the pictures? Now I'm looking here at the product page. As you can see, this is everything that's inside, but no show of any mouse pad. I guess this is the monitor that we'll receive completely unbranded. But look at this. I'm not sure if you can see on camera, but it looks like they removed the logo here with Photoshop or well, maybe with Microsoft Paint instead of Photoshop. But I mean, I'm happy because it looks like it's an RGB mouse pad. It has an on and off switch and there's an RGB strip on the side. Very small though, so that's a bummer. And then look at this thing, the star of the show, the whole grail of gaming oh this is definitely a heavy pc maybe we do have an ultimate gaming system on our hands i mean the product page specifically listed gaming as the use for this pc i mean look at this this pc is installed with a gaming graphics card on the product page it didn't say anything about the gaming graphics card it listed all components beside the gpu so i just thought there wasn't one i mean this pc might be a great starter pc to play minecraft maybe fortnite on low graphics we're gonna try all of that we even got a cable and it seems to be hdmi to display port so i guess the gpu will be display port and then the screen will only accept hdmi or the other way around we will see what i want to check now is if i can break this keyboard <laughs> i'm kidding i will break it at the end of the video i will try but we can already see if we will be able to do it and i mean feeling this I think there's a pretty big chance I'm gonna be able to snap this. I will make a promise right now that at the end of the video, I will actually try to break it and we'll see if it works. I'm pretty sure it will, by the way. Let's check out the mouse. Oh no, look at this. This feels and looks like the Wish.com mouse I tested a while back. I think that video is about two years old. And in that video, I got a completely destroyed keyboard box. Also, the keyboard itself was destroyed. There was a key missing and broken. And the Wish.com mouse was also extremely light. I could literally blow it away and i mean this feels the same thing like <laughs> this is so light it's, it's crazy i am not kidding when i say that this part with the cable and the usb plug is almost as heavy as the mouse itself it might be even the same before we go on let's do a clicking test Ooh, that sounds so mechanical now the keyboard, I do recognize this type of keyboard. I'm happy it did arrive in one piece. We have feet for on the back. This way it stands up. And I mean, it feels mushy like all of these cheap keyboards from AliExpress, Wish.com, and in this case, well, Amazon. But I mean, the price that we're paying, these are China prices and you can definitely feel it. Let's take off one of the keycaps to check out the switches and they look like what you would expect. No custom keyboard right here. Man, I really want to break this, but I'll have to wait till after the gaming. Now the RGB 
USB speakers. I am really curious for this. I hope we can try them with our MacBook because I want to hear what they sound like before we build this whole setup. <laughs> they look like nice speakers, but a mini version of it. Also, it's the other way around. Rip. Really curious for the RGB. We will need USB plus aux. Okay, I took the MacBook. We're gonna test these speakers. Now I really can't express how surprised I was with the weight of this PC. We're gonna open it up after testing these speakers. So I'm gonna plug in the USB and then the RGB should turn on. And does it? Yes. Is it animated? Yes, it changes. The color changes. And so let's try a song. Maximum volume on the PC. Maximum volume on the speakers. And let's go to the drop. I have to be honest, I've tested worse. Like these definitely sound pretty thin and I know I always talk about the bass with speakers. There is some bass, but it's pretty flat. However, now that I aim them towards me, it's actually much better than some of the speakers we've been testing. I'll try to let you hear a sample. Not that bad, to be honest. Now, before we unpack and completely open up this PC, let's take a moment to appreciate what they sell as a gaming PC. I mean, if this doesn't look like the ultimate Excel simulator, come on, you take one look at this and you immediately want to start working on spreadsheets. Let's see how we can safely open this up. This here is a good bet. All right, does it smell? Nah, barely. Now, what I don't understand, why don't they say anything about the GPU on Amazon? But then right here, they say it has a GPU. Please connect the HDMI to the GPU. I mean, I didn't even know I was going to get one. So it does come with a Wi-Fi adapter. I wonder, maybe the drivers for this Ethernet port aren't installed or maybe it doesn't work. Anyway, I'm going to immediately plug it in just so I don't forget it. And let's see, where is our GPU? I do not find a GPU here. I think this is a manual for like a general PC kit and that some PCs do have a GPU and others don't. Also like this power supply, look at this button. Have you ever seen this? I wonder how small the power supply is, but let's go back to the GPU. This is the motherboard or well, these are the connectors of the motherboard. And then usually this here would be for the GPU, but there is none. Have we been scammed? Well, I can't really say we got scammed because they didn't list the GPU on the website, but I got kind of excited when I saw it on the manual. I'm not sure how to open up this case. Maybe this is a lever. That didn't sound good. Okay, let's try how we... Whoop. Sounds like I'm opening like a secret box or something. I have no idea what's going to be on the inside. Look at this mechanism. This is a whole safe. Look at this. Okay, so this is the first look inside the PC. I see something that I don't like. This is a hard drive. This is an HDD. I don't think there will be an SSD. We definitely have to investigate this case. Oops. That was a big click. I am surgically removing this HDD. I mean, look at this. It's blocking our view way too much. I want to get a clean look inside this case. But how do we get this out? I almost forgot we're going to play Fortnite on this. <laughs> okay, we're going in. By the way, I think what I'm doing now is a bad idea. I think so too. Maybe you should try to put it up first. Nah. Ooh. I think there are memory slots under the HDD. <gasps> okay. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, look at this. 16 gigabytes of sweet memory. By the way, two empty PCIe lanes, so no GPU. We're gonna play Minecraft and Fortnite on an HDD without the GPU. It's not gonna be easy. Now, even though we have 16 gigabytes, it's DDR3, so I wouldn't get my hopes up. I'm gonna try to reassemble this. Easy! Let's close up the save again. <laughs> All right, look at how much USB slots, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, the only thing left to do is to turn this on and test the whole setup. All right, I'm gonna plug in everything. The speakers, mouse, keyboard, mouse pad. Really curious to turn this on. The last thing we need is the monitor. And I really wonder what the budget distribution is between like these peripherals than the PC and the monitor. Oops. Uh, look at this. It does have a logo right now. Also, I hope it's not broken because I saw reviews on Amazon of people receiving a completely destroyed monitor. So far, it looks 
looks fine. It, it looks a bit weird. Like, it feels weird. I'm sure these sides and stuff don't look like a usual monitor. And as expected, only HDMI, not DisplayPort. That's why they give the adapter. So, what else is in the box? We have a very shiny power cable. Weird product overall. And then this is a stand. We also have the little arm itself. I think we'll be able to shove this in and click it. That's pretty sturdy. And then this stand will just rotate onto it. Okay. Now the installing experience is pretty smooth. There we go. It does wobble a bit, but that's fine. You don't usually touch your monitor. Let's try to do a satisfying peel. Oof. It does seem like you can attach it to a monitor arm. Some people received monitors that weren't able to do that. However, that's not our goal. We're gonna use it as it comes. And man, this feels like such a crappy setup. Let's spread out the speakers. These speakers are so small. Like this feels like I'm making a wish.com setup video or AliExpress. I think my Timu setup that's gonna come, it's on the way. I think it's gonna be better than this one. But hey, there is a way to save this because all of these items are RGB. So as our last hope before we test the gaming, I'm gonna turn on all the RGB to check it out. Now I wanted to show the RGB, but of course we have to turn on the PC. So we're gonna do the first boot. Everything is connected. I am so curious to turn this on. I hope it doesn't explode. Okay, it's pretty quiet. I do hear the CPU calculating, so that's a good thing. It's calculating pretty heavily. <laughs> now we have to keep in mind that this PC doesn't have an SSD, it's an HDD, so it's gonna take a while to load, also to load in games, if it can even run the games. However, the good thing is we do have RGB and the mouse pad is very bright. Usually these RGB mouse pads are almost faded away, like the RGB is barely visible. But in this case, even with all of these lights, it's very visible. Let's see if we can change the color. Okay. Damn, yes. This actually looks good. And then this here as well. Can we actually control the lights? Maybe on... Ah, uh, okay. So this button here turns the RGB on or off so i mean that's pretty cool then of course we have the speakers as well and i'm not sure if this monitor isn't working or if the pc still isn't outputting anything as you can see here on the back it is turned on okay but we didn't connect any <laughs> display cable <laughs> That is important. We have our HDMI to DisplayPort adapter. Now on the manual, they ask you to plug it into the GPU, but that's gonna be hard since we don't have any. So <laughs> let's plug it into the motherboard and let's see what's gonna show up. Okay, let's turn the monitor maybe on again. Okay, it's green now. No signal, maybe. Let's try to access the menu, but this monitor doesn't display anything. I can turn it off, turn it on again. And then maybe when it shows something, I will press menu but this doesn't do anything. Let's try the other port. And we <laughs> our display port cable came loose. That's not a good thing. <laughs> There's only one HDMI, so this can't really be it. So I quickly plug the camera into the monitor and it does work now. So the problem is actually the PC. We will have to investigate. I'm just gonna restart the PC. I think this might work. Let's try again. Nice. Okay, now you might think this is completely useless for gaming, there's no point in testing. But I did see a review on Amazon from a father who bought this for his child, and he said it's a great first setup. However, I had to put this to the test, I think the father might be a paid actor, I think they paid the father to post that review. Now we only got three language options here, I'm gonna choose English. The mouse feels fine, but there's a delay in my cursor, which is really weird, I'm not sure if it's because of the mouse or because of the screen. This feels like 30 hertz, but let's click Belgium. This mouse is literally so light, I can't feel that I'm holding it. And we do have Wi-Fi. Okay, small update. I have my coffee and my phone with me already because this PC has been setting up for 30 minutes. I think it's crazy that you buy a new PC, then you connect it, you turn it on, and you have to install Windows, <laughs> like do the complete setup. Maybe that's normal, but I would assume when you buy a pre-built PC, you just turn it on and it boots into the desktop. Even with the mini PC we bought from AliExpress in a previous video, we turned that on and it immediately booted into Windows. So for this PC not to do that, I don't know. Amazon is really disappointing me today. I think Amazon is turning into AliExpress. All right, the PC has finally booted. I'm really curious. Since this is a hard drive and not an SSD, how long is Microsoft Edge gonna take to boot? I feel like a while. 
Okay, not that bad. A few seconds. Okay, and I really want to test this monitor, so I'm going to go to YouTube. First of all, I want to see the colors of the monitor, and I also want to see if the PC is going to be able to play a 4K video, for example. Not that there's much point into playing 4K, since this screen is actually... What's the resolution? Oh no, even right-clicking takes some time, but let's go to display settings. Okay, 1920 by 1080. So we got a better screen than the other people. They got 720, we got 1080. And I have to say, it doesn't look that bad. It looks pretty saturated. They said it was an IPS monitor. This is new. YouTube doesn't show me any recommendations. It says start watching videos to help us build a feed of videos for you. I've never seen this. 4K nature. Let's go. Our speakers work. I'm gonna turn the music off now for copyright reasons. Okay, let's see. Let's turn it to 4K, full screen. I have to say, so far, pretty snappy. Like, the PC responds well to inputs. It doesn't load that long. And it plays the 4K video. It's pretty smooth. If I press escape, it just closes. We can scroll. Goes pretty well. Overall, first impression, I will give it my classic rating so far, which is definitely usable. But I'm gonna download Minecraft. We're gonna download Fortnite as well. I am very curious because so far, this is very snappy. I can easily download Minecraft. The mouse is fine. Like, the screen reacts pretty well. There's not even that much ghosting going on. The screen is 60 hertz. They did advertise 75. We didn't get that. But let's download these games and then check out if we needed the GPU after all. All right, now I was installing Minecraft and I think it will be finished by now. And it looks like it is. We can click on play. And I'm gonna time how long it takes. So I'm gonna click on play and then click on start here. And it'll probably take a while. So I'm gonna skip it till it's done. <gasps> Okay, now, on the screen it took only 21 seconds, but it was even less because we were surprised it was loaded already. 20 seconds was much faster than expected. Now, the speakers are very loud. I have to say, very surprised with these absolutely usable, but I'm gonna try to use this shortcut here to make them more quiet. There we go. Now, I'm gonna create a new TVN world. Let's time it as well. Create a world and start. I'm gonna skip. Okay, it's pretty much ready. It's loading. We are at 44 seconds and... Oh no, what is this? Okay, it was lagging very hard, but it's a bit better now. Let's try to walk around. It is obviously pretty laggy, but it also feels snappy. Like I move my mouse and the screen does move, but when I'm doing a lot and I'm jumping around, I'm not sure what is the FPS. We are at 30 FPS right now. Okay, it is very, very choppy right now. I can play the game. It is playable for a kid that's five year old maybe. I'm not sure. However, we are probably not at the lowest settings. Let's go to video. Seems like we are. That's a problem. Apparently, Zana had been testing a bit already and she lowered the settings. Lowered the render distance, graphics too fast, less smooth lighting, shadows. I have now set all settings to the absolute minimum. And oh, that's good. This feels smooth. We are at 84 FPS. That's crazy. The GPU or the integrated graphics, the Intel HD graphics 2500 is what I think is inside of this. But this is absolutely playable. Let's try to remove some blocks. We are in creative mode, so it's gonna go quickly. I really wonder how Fortnite is gonna run. I don't think it's gonna be possible, but maybe. Now, the downside of these low settings is that you barely see anything besides what you're doing right in front of you. Okay, we made a block of TNT. Not that big, but I wanna see what happens to the PC when I make this explode. We should look at the CPU usage and, of course, the FPS. Okay, let's make this explode. It's going. Oof. Fine. I think in order to make this crash, we would need a whole mountain of TNT and then make that explode. I think that this definitely shows that anything you will do in game is playable with this PC here. That's absolutely crazy, but it is playable for a starter setup. All right, it is time to test Fortnite. I don't think it's gonna work at all. It took five minutes to arrive here in the lobby. And I mean, look at my character. It's lagging already right here, just standing there. Even the previews here that are constantly cycling are lagging when they do cycle. Yeah, there was a tiny lag. Let's click on play. We're gonna see what happens. ETA, five hours. <laughs> All right, it seems like we're gonna be entering a match. I'm so excited to test this out and also a bit scared. This thing is not gonna be able to render Fortnite in a match. There is no way. You can also hear it working very clearly. Okay, seems like the game has started. Oh no, what is this? What is this shine? What are the effects? Are these badly rendered effects? Are these just artifacts? Oh, look at this. So smooth. Mm, I like a good gaming experience. <laughs> look at this.
<laughs> How many FPS do we have? We have two FPS currently. The average is 10 FPS. <laughs> One and zero percent low or zero <laughs> FPS. If I look to the ground, it goes to two FPS. Okay, we are falling down. I have no idea what the keybinds are, by the way. We just installed this game. Okay, we have to go down. I was gonna go faster, which means we're gonna be lagging even more. <laughs> Look at this. It looks like I'm just lagging in place. Okay, we are going quickly now. <laughs> what is this? Oh no. Okay, we are on the ground and man, this is absolutely unplayable. <laughs> like also, what are the effects? Is that a bot dancing? Like, look at all these effects on the screen. Oh no. Hit him, hit him. I wanna... What? Yes, you killed him. No, I died. Oh, someone behind me. We had absolutely no clue what was happening. It was impossible to see anything. I'm gonna restart the game with the lowest settings possible. Waiting for players already. I'm gonna go to the settings. Well, if I can actually use these settings, like, I can't click on anything. I wanna go to full screen. And then I want to go lower to 720p if possible. Okay, 720p. I'm going to lower the graphics even more. Like even scrolling in this menu is lagging like crazy. Okay, viewing distance. We're going to lower this. It's very sad. Going to be lowering the textures as well. There is a chance that this will work. We're going to 720p low graphics, like absolute lowest. We need to restart the game. Really curious. I'm going to skip till we're in the game. All right. Now, about 20 minutes later, I was finally able to put Fortnite at the lowest settings possible. It kept crashing, but we tweaked some stuff and now it is going pretty smoothly. Let's try to start the match with zero building. This again, we can just click on play. Boom. Smooth. Also, my character is barely lagging but i mean you can also barely see that it is a character <laughs> it looks like i'm playing minecraft look at this it's like tiny blocks anyway if this pc here can play fortnite in tiny blocks that does it for me i am happy with my purchase then well we wouldn't call it happy fortnite should be fun for everyone be welcoming to new players and be welcoming to players with intel hd 2500 graphics <laughs> okay we're in game can we move around we can what is the fps 13, 14, 15. Oh no. But again, these effects, like, look at this. Look, what is happening on the screen? <laughs> I feel like I'm in a Star Wars space battle or something. Hello there. Like, this is absolutely not playable. I am determined to get into a fight. We're gonna wreck someone. We need to find a gun. Okay, I see something. We have a gun. We have seven bullets. Can we find someone? I'm just gonna walk in the open here. Oh, there is someone. Oh no. How can I aim with this? <laughs> I see flashes. Are these bullets that are badly rendered? Oh no. This is absolutely unplayable. All right, now I promised you I was gonna try to break the keyboard. I kind of forgot, but I'm recording it right now. I mean, if you look at this keyboard, it's very bendy already. I think if I really put force on it, it's gonna snap immediately. So I'm gonna do that. Pretty scared for my eyes. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, that took less than I would have thought. What is this on the back? It's a whole like plastic membrane. <laughs> Look at this. These are the rubber keys. Well, I promised you I was going to try to break it. And I think we successfully did. <laughs> now, this video was definitely an experience. Circling back to the review on Amazon of the father, I think, that said it's a great first setup. I don't really think so. <laughs> this is absolute trash for gaming. Maybe for just office work, it might be usable. And for a five-year-old kid that wants to play Minecraft with two blocks rendered, might also be usable. But besides that, please don't get this setup. Buy a second-hand Xbox Series S, for example. Mouse, keyboard, you can connect it. You can play Fortnite. I know it's a bit more expensive than this, but don't spend $200 on something like this because most of this stuff is trash. I am buying an Xbox Series X for a future video. I'm gonna build a whole setup in an Xbox Series X, mouse, keyboard, a nice gaming screen. If you want to see that, definitely subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day.